the show that the world needs right now. Let's talk about some things that are weird. This is the Vince Show. I want to get your thoughts on this comment. I'm going to start with John Clark, and then I want to go to Nate Miller. Tulsi Gabbard said, I think for far too long on the issue of gun violence, some people have been pushing a really false choice to suggest you're either in favor of the Second Amendment or you want to take everyone's guns away. I'm in favor of the Second Amendment, and I'm in favor of assault weapons ban, universal background checks, red flag laws, and these are just common sense. These are just common sense. And then continuing, I am a gun owner. What do you think of that, John Clark? I think that's a perfectly reasonable take on some common sense gun control laws that we could potentially implement here in America that might keep us from having to have so many shows about kids getting shot in our schools. Nate Miller, how about you? What do you think of that? It sounds like a intelligent response to a question that has been roughly settled for quite a long time. Now, the problem that I have with the term universal background check, no one can explain. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Stop, stop, before you keep going. So we're all in agreement. That's a pretty great statement, right? It's a statement. Pretty yeah. rational. Yeah. Mm, it's, it's a, it's a well-said statement. Yeah. Oh, wait, sorry. Got my websites mixed up. Vice President Kamala Harris issued a warning to intruders <laughs> during an interview with Oprah Winfrey, declaring if someone breaks into my house, they're going to get shot. After Winfrey spoke to the parents of a girl who was shot and injured during the September Appalachie high school shooting, Harris said, I think for far too long on the issue of gun violence, some people have been pushing a really false choice to suggest you are either in favor of the Second Amendment or you want to take everyone's guns away. I'm in favor of the Second Amendment and I'm in favor of the assault weapons ban. Universal background checks, red flag laws. These are just common sense. These are just common sense, she said. She continued, I'm a gun owner. Tim Walls is a gun owner. I did not know that, Winfrey replied. Harrison remarked, if somebody breaks into my house, they're getting shot. Sorry. <laughs> Probably shouldn't have said that, concluded Harris, as she started to laugh. But my staff will deal with that later. Nate Miller, guess what yeah. you just did? Guess what you what? just did? What did I just do? You agreed with Kamala Harris. I think. I think, actually, he endorsed, he endorsed her. Ooh, there. watch it, fence sitter. Take, Take off the is. hat. Take <laughs> off the shirt. You're on my side now. <laughs> yeah. Come join with me with the furries. <laughs> yeah, but also, she has also said, just because you legally possess a gun in the sanctity of your locked home doesn't mean that we're not going to walk into that home and check to see if you're being responsible. Where's the Fourth Amendment there? I'm okay with that. You're, you're okay with, with, with the law, with the government, barging into your house at any given time. That's the whole Fourth Amendment, man. It's like, you know, when the Patriot Act happened and everybody was all worried that, like, the NSA was listening to their phone calls. I'm like, I got nothing to hide. You are more than welcome to be bored listening to my conversations. Oh, I don't. I, I, I actually disagree with you on that one. Edward Snowden, um, there's Julian Assange all exposed some things that the government was doing with our information as a result of the Patriot Act. It's pretty disturbing, to be mm -hmm. honest with you, that they could have that level of, of, I guess, oversight view into what we're doing. So, yeah, I actually, it's, it's a rare disagreement there. Matt. I feel I feel ganged up on right now. <laughs> I got to write do you this all down. Hate me? What, what, what time and what date this actually happened? Hold on. Why do you hate me? We don't hate what did you. I we're do just, to you? We're just spitting facts. Okay, so, but listen, if I you... I feel dirty. If, for for, for, for siding with Maga Miller? <laughs> Stop it, fence sitter. Go... Oh, my word. <laughs> hey, you know wrong. what happens now that you've sided with the Maga side, John Clark? What does that mean? You're going to get a couple of mistresses. Oh. What? That should be fun. Yep. I'll let, I'll let my maid know. Yep, that's what that's what MAGA does. I mean, like you join MAGA and all of a sudden like your marriage vows are open to other people. Oh my um, 
He said I get okay, mistresses. Go here. He said I get mistresses. I love, I love how he's talking. <laughs> <laughs> uh i think one of these nights here well here let's go here real quick we we got a few more minutes um i think one of these nights we should swap you two out with your wives and i can debate your wives oh my oh, word that that might do you want to have to go into a hole again for a year i would crush both of them i right? know I would have to deal with the fallout. <laughs> That's the problem. Is I'd have to. It's, it's it's not what would happen on the show. It's the fact that I would be bombarded <laughs> after the show with. Do you know what he said to me while I was on the show? <laughs> but hey, let's go back to the Fourth Amendment real quick. Sure. If somebody is a danger and they got guns in their house, I want the government to go in there and take them. Then do it the proper way. Go be- go before a judge. State the. Uh reasonable cause why they why the government needs to enter this facility the the, the, the home of yeah. the alleged suspect and then take it legally you don't think they would do that it sounds you don't think that you don't think that you're you don't think the trump supreme court that's in need of term limits when it would 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 allow something like that to happen what no uh, no I, I I agree with John that the, the Patriot Act is far too overreaching, and I wish that they would let it sunset and actually come up with a, a decent bill. The Fourth Amendment right is is here to stay as as long as we can keep a republic. And you need if you have probable cause to enter someone's uh, household to prevent something, you better have, have probable cause. You know, I have nothing to hide. They're more than welcome to come in. Bring groceries while you're at it. I would agree with that, but it, 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 this, is, this is the slippery slope, right? And again, I can't believe I'm saying this, but I actually agree with Nate Miller here because the problem with that is is who is the one that is determining what probable cause is at that point? Like, let's say, let's say they decided to do that, and Matt, we had a reasonable person in office like Kamala Harris. I don't think that they would come inside of our homes and just take things without actually going through the right channels to do it. I however, hope they clean up. I hope they however, clean up while they're here. However, <laughs> let's let's say that somebody like, oh, say Donald J. Trump got into office and heard this podcast, didn't like what he heard, and decided he was going to come into our homes. That, to me, presents a lot more of a threat when you've got somebody who has got the ability to overreach now that we've overturned the Fourth Amendment. I just I worry about the person who is defining what a what a potential threat is. I I worry who that person is because you get to the point where the wrong person is able to define that, and then all of a sudden you've got someone get shot. Yeah, that's what happened. Just Just somebody came in my house, reasonable, or you know, with 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 they just broke in without a warrant to tell my wife to stop cleaning. So that I can report the, record this podcast. Someone's sleeping on the couch tonight, JD Vance style. <laughs> oh my word! And I like my couch. And going to JD John, Vance likes his couch too. Oh my word! And going to John's statement, I can flip that to say if Mrs. Harris gets into office I would feel that she would potentially try and pack the court to that she's not talking about jailing her political opponents (laughs) no but a lot of her Trump's gonna jail Zuckerberg a lot of her surrogates and the rants and two thirds of the rants (sighs) a lot of her surrogates are saying that we should be sent to re-education camps because of what we are saying hrc i've never heard anybody say that i've i've never HRC heard a lot of trump something less than that. and, and a lot of trump surrogates are saying project 2025 should be implemented too so this works and both I, ways uh, uh, exactly. but trump's not project 2025 right correct correct and but i would I'm, say i would say kamala's not hrc or whoever I know, that is I, but, but what i'm saying is everyone well, always Nate says miller's in the code hey, words hey hey John, <laughs> hrc yeah. is hillary rodham clinton oh okay got it got it I was helping you out there, Maga Miller. Stop it. Thank you. Thank you. Go Thank have you. a go have a ham sandwich. 
Go have a mayonnaise sandwich. <laughs> That's okay. I had cheese curds earlier today from Culver's. Here, here I'm going to do a MAGA Miller real quick. <laughs> Good. John and I can talk. And so, and, and, and John, this is where I'm, I'm coming from. Like, you, you potentially fear Trump. I potentially fear Kamala. <laughs> that is why these long-standing laws need to be abided, and that's why we have the Supreme Court to uh, to. This is the Constitution. This is what it says. This is what it doesn't say. This is what we are following. And if we're going to start throwing stuff out, then we're not going to have a republic anymore. That's pretty stupid. Definition of stupid, please. I think, I think, I think that here's the thing. I think that the reason that the Constitution can have amendments is because they knew that things would change. They knew they could not look into the future and see everything that was going to happen over the next thousand years. And the idea was that document could be enduring and could last and could, could cover generation after generation after generation. So to say that we don't need to update the Constitution, don't need to think about the amendments that were in place before. This goes back to the fact that, you know, the Second Amendment was based on the fact that they used to have muskets and cannons, not semi-automatic and automatic rifles that could mow down, you know, I mean, could technically turn somebody into a one-man army, depending on who he's fighting against. And so I do think these laws and these amendments need to be updated. I, I do think they made it hard to update them for a reason. You've got to have an overwhelming majority to actually add a new amendment to the Constitution. I understand that. But I do think to say that we shouldn't be updating or thinking about updating these laws is, is, is a little bit short-sighted. But the Fourth Amendment is one of those that I agree. Uh, reasonable search and seizure needs to stay in place, in my opinion. <laughs>